Will, let's talk then about uh, saving money on our energy bills, because that's what you do best, isn't it? Uh, simple changes around the house to save money on our bills. What can people do? Well, listen to this government campaign. Uh, there's lots of really handy tips, and it doesn't take money to do it. So the most compelling one probably is to reduce the flow temperature of your boiler. Mm. As it stands, your boiler is pumping out water at about 75 degrees. It doesn't need to be that hot, 60 how do degrees. How do that, though? Because I keep hearing that on the tally, but I don't have a clue how to do it. What do I do? The best thing to do is to look at what boiler you have, Google it, and there'll be a very simple video and instruction. There's not much you can't find out It's just, it's just turning way. down a valve. It is straightforward. It is very straightforward, but it varies a little bit from device to device. So Google your one be able to work out how to do it. Then you've got other things, like, for example, most people don't realise you can run your washing machine for 40 degrees or less for almost every load you put in there. If you're getting it at 50, 60 degrees, you're throwing away about £70 pounds per year. Mm -hmm. So that's one to look at as well. Tumble dryers, super, super um, energy inefficient. If you can get away with not using those, that is a great idea. Mm -hmm. All of this, you have to say, is one last dance on the political grave yeah. of Liz Truss, who says, yes. I don't want to do nanny state intervention. And she you know, refused to pony up this £20 million government information campaign. I have to say, for my part, given that she also put the government, or rather the taxpayer, on the hook for every bill in the country, and that was going to cost us billions of pounds, to me, it makes perfect sense the government has done this campaign, which hopefully helps to reduce our usage by 5%, 10% somehow. One thing I've noticed, I said to the, this to you earlier, is that practically everybody I know this year has been given one of those wearable blankets for Christmas. It's like a big blanket you wear. I mean, they're about 40 or 50 quid. They're not, they're not cheap, those things. But are, are they worth getting? So basically, you stay warm and you keep the he heating turned down. It could be, and it, it taps into the key principle about all of this stuff which is keeping heat where you need it most. Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid the brutal reality is where you need it most is about your person, about yeah. your body. Other tips, like using your curtains, making sure that your curtains are closed at night, that is a form of insulation, which, as Ellie knows, one of my favourite subjects. And if anything, that's my one slight gripe about this campaign. These little handy tips and tricks in and around a few marginal issues. It's a bit like the government saying, we're under invasion. Every household has to defend itself. So we're going to release a video showing you how you can make a lethal weapon out of a toothbrush. Yeah. And you think to yourself, well, that's great, but couldn't you maybe give me an assault rifle? Mm. And the truth is, what you need really to bring down Britain's bills permanently is not behavioural tips, mm. it's structural assistance, by which I mean nothing short of a national insulation campaign. And the video does hint at this, in fact. 